Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 10. All right, the previous episode we uh, had the battle between Yo and Ren and it was a tie in a way. So what happened here is the uh, what was her name? Um, Golfa, Golfa, who was the um, who was the kind of like the head of the association as far as I could un understand because like someone in the comments let me know that she's not the greatest spirit I thought she was the greatest spirit but no so like everything uh, like all the what do you call it like decisions fall on her hand so she came in and she said that okay like you have one win like Ren had one win uh, one draw and Yo had one win one draw and a loss so like so what do we do in this situation like i was thinking i was under like i was thinking like oh my god is are they going to disqualify you or something because obviously like we can see he's at a disadvantage here but as she said like you know after observing you guys we could see that both of you have great potential so both of you will be qualified like that's good and so he has the both of them has been qualified now and i'm guessing we're probably going to get a little break because i don't think like the next fight will start after this like this they got qualified so i'm guessing they'll like take a little break and make do some training and stuff to get more powerful and then we'll get to the next part of the fight i'm guessing something like that and uh, yeah and also we saw ren's part of the story you know how you know how her how his childhood was and why is he so different like he and yo are really similar so like he was very confused as to see how yo could be of such a different character than him even though he faced kind of the same rejection by you know the other by other people so like like these kind of things i'm sure like it kind of weighed down on him and the contrast that we saw between the two characters uh, it was really shown very well in the previous episode and let's see how I, i'm sure ren will kind of like you know change his ways after this the way he like killed the person like you know the previous examiner uh, that was not good in my opinion obviously like killing is not good at all so i'm sure like let's see like i'm not sure but i hope so like you know he he changes his ways and becomes a good friend uh, not a good friend but a good rival to you so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number 10 of shaman king so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. One month, there you go. A lot of time. Okay. Wow, wow, so many people here. Yeah. Oh, great. Never return to a normal life again. Uh, uh yeah <laughs> yeah like you need to get back to these things again <laughs> what is reality different aspects of your reality wow that's a really what oh my god <laughs> that's also reality <laughs> another aspect of your reality okay that's <laughs> i knew this was coming you know uh training arc like obviously you need to train you're you're, you're going to participate in a battle we have still not met a few characters from these openings, you know? 
I'm guessing we're going to meet them after this. I can see two characters, I think, who we have still not met. All right, let's see what we <laughs> uh... Oh god, oh then it's also here nice <laughs> Yeah, we're here to party <laughs> Yeah, Ren, I'm really con- Uh... <laughs> Halfway to dragon, who? Oh, hold on, hold on. I bought a building for myself. Ha! Ha is also- <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, don't say these things here. He'll get embarrassed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, he's drinking milk <laughs> three three bottles oh my god <laughs> okay Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with his family, I think. I need to center myself again. <laughs> Shaman King. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. What what's that? A motorbike sound? What is that? Okay. <clears throat> oh god. And there's another reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
Mm, well, Anna will train him, I'm sure. Like, mm. okay. Oh god. The <laughs> kid is droning. <laughs> oh! Wait. What the? What is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? This might be some kind of uh, the saint. <laughs> what the? Is that car talking? Busan? Um, monk stuff. Whoa. He's an idol or something? <laughs> Singing monks! Bones! <laughs> ah! The name Bose. Bose means monk, isn't it? In Jap Japanese, so Bose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's let's hear your thing. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Jobusu san came. Whoa! Damn, they're good. <laughs> Wait, is that a s okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> <Is it shoot? laughs> oh my god there <laughs> Is that the way Oh my god <laughs> Bozu <laughs> I love the name Bozu <laughs> Grand Training World Tour 99 Yeah Wait, so you decided to defeat him before? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> They're going to defeat them by singing. <laughs> oh my god. This is also... Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> They're singing. Yeah. Oh my god, oh! Oh no! Oh god. Yoneda Zen. <laughs> Zen. The Zen is his name. <laughs> Sugimoto Ryo. Okay. Zen and Ryo. Yeah, but
<laughs> wow. Two in one. <laughs> That's a rough awakening, Amidamaru. He just woke up and he's seeing something like this is happening. Okay, I think. How are the, Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Conscient Ponchi is also not there. <laughs> Song. Oh god. Wait, is... Oh, what the... Do you spell blues? Oh, f he used the free of okay. <laughs> oh god, another song. Oh no, it's the same song. Whoa! <laughs> Play harder. Oh god! Oh. What? Yeah. What the? Oh, is this real? Eh, hey, Ryu, sorry. Not real. What? <laughs> oh no, I, I hope his hair doesn't get cut now. The combat history reveals itself in my hair. <laughs> Nice. Okay, he became a shaman. Okay. Oh, or maybe. Who's the spirit? <laughs> oh, yeah, we forgot. Oh, wow. Nice. And, and his hair also grew. <laughs> oh! Damn! Monkeys! <laughs> okay, let's see Ryo, your power. Damn! Whoa, his hair! Uh, whoa! New best place. <laughs> oh, Tokagero is here. Okay. So Tokagero is his spirit. <laughs> how? Wait. Wait, how? How was wasn't that uh, the name of that girl? Oh no no uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, some uh, I confused the name. Whoa what? Isn't this a, the guy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> here. Wow. Oh. Oh, he was there. 
<laughs> nice. Natural born shaman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're very similar, you know, Ryu and Tokagero. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they're similar and they're similar. <laughs> 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 oh god, this is funny. <laughs> Yeah, the how guy, he's the main villain, isn't he? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Training time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another 10 hours added to that. Oh, who is this? A new character? Whoa. Oh, this is, um... Okay, calm down. Oh, okay. Uh, no, he wants that steam bun, so. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> well, he wanted to eat that, so you know, he was hungry, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People aren't so bad. <laughs> yeah, so try to help people now, you know. Or, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, his family. I think so. Wow. Source of all my hatred. Damn, look at the, all those spirits.
Whoa, okay, that was good. Especially the end when he, like, you know, got the resolve. I thought it would take a little bit of time for him to actually, like, you know, go back to the good path. But he took, like, you know, like, he, he did not spend, spend much time kind of thinking about it, like, you know. Like, he took a, like, decision, like, quick decision. And that's good. Like, as he said, like, I have done a lot of bad things, a lot of, I've committed a lot of, lot of sins, so I won't be able to negate that. So what can I do then? Like, I can help people. So, like, like, instead of wallowing in, like, you know, the thoughts that, oh, like, I am, like, I cannot be saved. It has been too, like, I've committed a lot of sins. Instead of going in this direction. Like, it was good that he realized that instead of thinking about all of these things, doing nothing, I should probably do something and help others, which will probably not negate my sins, but I can probably help more people than I harmed up till now. And for that, as he said, like, I need to set a score with my family first. Otherwise, it will haunt him forever and it will come, like, you know, for him. Okay, that's the end. Now, I'm guessing the next episode will be the battle between Ren and his dad. Okay, this will be interesting. <clears throat> Alright, so this episode, uh, first we see how, like, you know, they, like, uh, like, how it was announced that they have been qualified. There are a lot of new characters as well, which we will surely get to see in the upcoming episodes. Because we're going to have a tournament, like, you know, kind of thing that's going to happen. And I'm not sure how many days they will, like, you know, uh, spend prepping everything up. Like, in the, in, the uh, in the anime, they said it's one month. So I'm guessing we're going to get uh, three or four episodes of, like, preparation or something. Where the first two episodes, probably two or three episodes, will be spent in, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ren versus his dad. The next episode which will be probably and then probably we'll get two more episodes we'll probably see like you know uh, your kind of training and everything and who knows we might meet some new characters by in, in the way and then I'm, i think probably we're going to get into the main battle and everything another thing i want to mention in the guy how now he i but at the beginning i was unable to recognize him and then i realized that he's the guy who we always see in the opening don't we uh the I'm guessing uh, he is probably the person um, in the first episode we saw the person who was supposed to be the bad guy like you know like they said something like there's these two sons who were born and I'm guessing he is supposed to be the main bad guy here so it's him isn't he like uh, you also kind of got uh, like you know when he heard the name he got curious so I'm guessing it's something like that and uh, <clears throat> yeah it must be because obviously like we have been seeing the opening for so many episodes and he is like the main like you know guy who all the others are fighting against so i'm sure it's him and uh, yeah and uh, it was great to see uh, ren you know kind of you know interacting with them and everything like it was good that they spent not did not spend much time in like you know him kind of uh becoming friends with them he just became friends in one like you know in this episode only like what took only one episode and uh i'm glad that he realized what he has been doing all the time is not the correct way that he should be doing things and he realized that uh like i should probably settle the score with my dad because he's the main person who uh like you know who's the f at, who's the reason for everything and i should probably settle my score with my dad just just so that i can uh break you know break of these shackles that has been uh holding me for so long and break free uh, from the cycle of hatred <laughs> and okay so uh oh another thing uh this episode we had two characters uh you know these the <laughs> the bows now <laughs> it's a funny thing like you know like uh it's a pun obviously like bozu like they, i think in, in japanese bozu bozu means monks you know and uh sometimes uh, they also mention little boys as bozu as well but that's different like usually bozu means monks 
so like they as they were saying like you know we are the like you know singing monks and they came and introduced themselves their group as the bulls <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay that was really funny and uh, um <laughs> it's really interesting to see like you know characters whose main way of fighting is singing like wow like they like you know like i was thinking how are they going to even battle you know like they said that the, the, their song can uh <clears throat> free the spirits from the earthly shackles you know free uh like, like um what do you call it the the spirits of the spirits of the other world from the earthly shackle and uh make them um, what do you call them uh reach like you know make the, like fulfill their like wishes or something i don't know like most probably like the, the they'll like you know it, it, the uh, spirits get enlightenment or something like that and um i was thinking were they going to use that to like use it against the shamans because their technique is very powerful against shaman isn't it like they can just use their song to defeat the spirit but I'm guessing like, you know, stronger spirits will probably won't have any effect in it. Something like that, because otherwise this is like the one of the most OP power, like, you know, like destroying your the spirit will like, how will they even shaman even fight if they destroy the spirit just like that. So I'm guessing it has some limitations or something, uh, something like, you know, like a power level, like up until which they can defeat them or something. Who knows? And I don't know what happened to what was the name? I forgot. Um, the Tanuki and the uh, Kitsune. Ponchi and Konchi, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> I hope they're okay. Like, like it seems as if <laughs> they, they got, like, you know, um, uh, like, they, they were, like, flying out away in the sky. I, I hope they, like, they come back. I'm sure they'll come back. Like, you know, who knows? And because uh, Tamo did not seem much concerned, so I'm guessing they'll come back sooner or later. And uh, yeah, and then we get to see um, oh, and their power. Their uh, power is quite interesting, as they like you know, uh, Chimi Morio, <laughs> as they named. Uh, I think in Japanese it's called as like you know, as in Tamo said that the evil spirits, like you know, uh, they like they're controlling it with that, uh, the chant and uh they were like <laughs> singing sutras like that was quite interesting you know it's quite unique the way like the, the characters were and they had like a <laughs> you know the, the, on top of the car there was this coffin and all like that was funny and uh in came ryu now <laughs> ryu has three layered hair now <laughs> as he says like you know as as like you know uh like i get stronger and the layers like you know increase as it's like the Mm, indication of my power level of how many defeats i've gotten like you know like it, it's an indication of how many times he got defeated and the more the person gets defeated the more he'll get stronger as it said you know like what doesn't kill you makes stronger so something like that <laughs> and <clears throat> anyway so he like uh, he became a shaman and i come i also completely forgot that he was actually left <laughs> in yo's hometown <laughs> Oh my god, like, uh, I didn't even notice when he said that you left me there. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, like, you know, that that's what happened. I also forgot. Sorry about it. Too. <laughs> but, you know, a good thing happened from that. He got his training from uh, Yo's grandpa. And he's a shaman now. And, like, obviously, like, I all, like, you know, I also knew, like, like Tokagero might become his spirit because of, like, how similar they are and also how, like, you know, he was involved with Tokagero in, in the episode when Tokagero was uh, introduced. So, because of that, I thought maybe, like, you know, they're, they're going to, uh, uh, Tokagero is going to become his shaman, uh, uh, his spirit, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, that's what happened. And uh yeah it's good like you know he like ryu himself is quite strong uh, from the outside as well like you know he can like fight so it will also help a little bit in like you know in his fights <clears throat> and uh okay and uh what else happened here mm. oh he he also like <laughs> Like, he also got into the Shaman King, King tournament as well. That was, I was also not expecting that because, like, as he said that he, like, he defeated the enemies and kind of, 
um like you know uh, quickly went uh, like you know uh, like past the tournament the two uh, the qualifying rounds and he got in <laughs> okay that was good like so he's also one of the you know like participants now and he'll also fight alongside not alongside but you know <clears throat> in the tournament and uh, <clears throat> horohoro came in horohoro and his sister mm. and they had a party little party ran and all of them and uh, anna is as he said like you know anna is going to <coughs> <coughs> like uh, start training them <laughs> and uh, as like he, like you know you said that uh, to tamao that the time that i'm spending here you know the mundane daily life the normal life uh, that's the most precious thing for me and <coughs> obviously like we know that like for his main motivation is the normalcy of like you know everything he wants peace he wants to be at peace and like spend time with everyone have a normal life and to get that normal life he needs to become the shaman king and that's why he needs to become stronger so <clears throat> like his like his like i really hope his motivation never changes like you know like his motivation is like i want peace that's why i'll become strong you know that's a really unique type of a motivation and uh, yeah and i can kind of understand anna like you know the way anna said before like you know like why she has so faith in yo because of the the reason like you know his reason of becoming the shaman i can understand now you know as as like i'm observing yo like each and every episode i can really understand what anna saw in him you know like what quality she actually saw in yo and like at the beginning i was really like not able to understand it that much because i thought that you know like uh, not having a goal like how is that like you know beneficial here like from anna's point of view i was unable to properly align my point of view with anna's point of view but as i'm seeing you you know like i'm sure like i'm going to like realize a lot of other things as the time you know as the episodes go on as well like it's like the best thing is like seeing is believing is they say you know so as you know as the episodes go on as i'm spending more time with you i'm seeing his character his personality i can understand now like what anna actually like you know things that is his like actual talent his actual uh, good thing in him his unique thing that is in him i can also properly understand it now because like as i like you know as you said that i want a normal life and for that normal life i want to become a shaman king and to become a shaman king i'll have to get stronger and <clears throat> this reason is really one of the best reasons i can also feel it because as anna said you know like if you become something just because you want to become that and have no plans further like after you became that that thing what will you do after then so that's why like yo his motivation is that i want peace so that's why like that's his main motivation and that's why he has to become stronger he has to become the shaman king so it's his goal is something that like which if needs to be fulfilled he needs to become the shaman king so that's why he will never like you know forget his path he will always be on the path and yeah that's really a, a great reason and yeah i also feel that yo is like up until now like yo is the most deserving of becoming the shaman king because of his reason you know his motivation and it's good is really unique and good and as they said like you know he won't forget his like you know for like you know he won't forget his path like th there are a few animes i can i remember where like you know when the main goal got somehow hindered the main character completely you know uh, forgot his path became very much you know rattled and uh, like you know fell into a little bit of a slump a depression there are a few animals i can remember where this happened and but still like in the end they kind of like pick themselves up together but that thing won't happen here you know because yo's goal is so unique and he won't forget his path because of that i hope so at least and i think that will like you know that won't happen here because like i don't feel like yo will ever forget the path that he's walking on let's see like you know like i might be proof like i might be proven wrong in the future like who knows we still have a lot of episodes left but at least for like up until now 
I can kind of understand where Anna is, uh, you know, actually coming from, like what she's actually seen in you and what she actually believes will happen. And yeah, that's good. So yeah, okay. So and then like in the end, we see a little bit of uh, Ren where he talks with Basson and like you know, he says that like I have committed a lot of sins. I need to stop that. I need to move forward, move along, and help others. For that, I need to, uh, you know, like deal with my family, with my past, with the shackles that's holding me. That is my dad. So next episode, I'm guessing we get get a big fight between them, and uh, yeah, it will be a tough fight definitely. But let's see. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that's it. So that was my reaction to episode number uh 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day